We are heading into one of the most luxurious shopping malls here in Bangkok. We are at Icon Siam. You can see this is the view of the mall. It costs over a billion US dollars to create, to construct the shopping mall. So we're going to head on inside. Hopefully we don't get hit by a motorbike or a taxi. So there you see the Icon Siam sign. I don't know if that's supposed to be lit up or not, but... <laughs> All right, we have some Christmas decorations on the right. I can already feel the beautiful aircon. Let's head on inside. Oh, oh that's the wrong side, yeah. <laughs> this way. Okay, so looks like we have to go through security first. It's quite funny that I was just following them like following them like sheep. Oh, oh. Looks like level one is literally all street food, so we also have like a floating market just over here. So of course in Thailand, in Bangkok, floating markets are a big thing. Form of branding as well, especially for tourists. We've got some drinks. So I haven't eaten since pretty much lunchtime. So we are definitely in the mood to try lots of different foods. Look at this guys, wow. I love the flowers. Very busy inside of here. You can see there is a, a lot of tourists. So uh, be prepared for getting stuck in like, like I am right now. And uh, trying to move and navigate around everyone. But it's very beautiful. This place is so stunning. They have like the lanterns in the sky. And this level here, level one, it just seems like a sea of street food. Yeah, we are hungry. Time to eat. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's, it's to be expected in a luxury shopping mall. You can see there's a lot of people just eating over here, enjoying their meals. Got some seafood. Squid. I already saw some Pad Thai. Oh, you saw Pad Thai, yeah. yes. Oh my god, there's so many. I'm overwhelmed by the food options here, Carolina. <laughs> there's there's too much. I think we, to the other. we, we need to pick. To... We need to pick. Yeah. All right, so guys, we have found our first place. You can see there is a bunch of noodles here. I think we're going to be going for uh, Pad Thai. <laughs> she just went inside. She just uh, went in front of you. <laughs> Sometimes that can be very frustrating, but anyways, we'll let her off on this occasion. One Pad Thai. Let's go, go over Pad Thai, guys. You can see there is so many noodles here. And uh, literally just rows of street food. Okay, so we're getting it with chicken. Chow lai. Not easy. Uh, you, what did you say there, Carolina? Tao Lai. Tao Lai, oh my god, everyone just keeps I think it's basically 60. pushing by over here. It's so, very difficult. 120. 120, yes. So we're looking at quite expensive pad thai here. <laughs> Alright. It looks good though. Look at all of the different types of noodles. Alright, uh, Kabong Cap. 120 is almost like $4, so it is the most luxurious mall, so we're expecting higher prices. Okay. Cup on cup. All right, so we can have a few different things. I think uh, some. All right, so we got some Brussels sprouts. Yeah, add a few Brussels sprouts. All right. She's in love with Brussels sprouts. And she, would, she would keep going if we weren't filming. I think we should some peanuts. Yeah, so let's get some peanuts and cover it there. I think there's a little bit of sugar. I'll add a little bit of sugar because I know that. It doesn't, uh... No, that's more peanuts. I'm yeah? a peanut lover. <laughs> All right, so that's add a bit of sugar, just like that. And maybe a little bit chili? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, a little bit of chili. Here we go. I think we are doing a good job. <laughs> okay, where do we eat though? So we've got our food. Now we need to figure out actually where to eat. And it's quite chaotic around here. Uh, let's try and find somewhere to sit. Maybe over here. So there are tables. Just around here. There's a table here, Carolina. Alright. 
Maybe we can just sit here. Yeah. Should we sit here? We can just uh, eat a bit between us. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're gonna eat like this. Have you got um, yes, yes, cutlery? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> So no chopsticks, but we're going to be having forks, okay? So actually, we have only been in uh, Bangkok for a short period. Hello. Swaddy cap. <laughs> um, we've only been in Thailand for a short period of time, so this is actually our first Pad Thai. Probably, it's amazing. I don't know if it's the most authentic, but let's try it. Okay. So let's try not to spill it. Got some noodles, some chicken. Okay guys, so I think three, I think it's like four dollars for this and to be honest, I've had a lot more uh, flavorful pad thais than this one. Like, I'll be honest with you guys, it's not really, it doesn't really uh, kind of uh, have much flavor to it. I think that even if they did uh, stir fry it, it's not like stir fried. That's it's not fresh, thing. yeah, like yeah. to be honest, we just walked into the mall and we were overwhelmed by all the food options. <laughs> yeah. So Carolina saw pad thai and we haven't had pad thai in Thailand. But, Hopefully we'll have a lot better pad thais, uh, you know, in the future here in Thailand. I'm sure we will. Mm. There's no flavor to it, to be honest. A little bit disappointing, but we have got so much more food options here to try. This is a disappointing one, and hopefully the next one's much better. All right, guys, so I have spotted something that I absolutely love. You can see crispy pork skin over here with the meat. So I think, uh, oh, there's a bit of a weird lighting there, but, uh, it's funny because uh, <laughs> we're waiting in line and uh, everyone just kind of pushes in front of you here. All the time. It's happened like the second occasion. And actually you can have a crispy pork kapow. It's like a, we've actually been having that, like a pad kapow. So it's like a crispy pork version. Oh. So what do you got? Uh, we can go for the crispy pork kapow. One. This one, yes. And uh, not spicy. Uh, just it. because it's spicy or not? not oh, a li little bit of spice. Oh, yes, okay. I can handle a little bit of spice. Carolina is better with the spice, but the food here in Thailand, if you ask for just a little bit spicy, it's gonna be it's gonna be spicy. It's gonna be spicy. <laughs> okay, our pork kapow is ready. Kapung kap. Kapung kap. Alright, guys, we've got a uh, deep <laughs> people uh, looking at the camera while I'm talking. We got a uh, food. I think we can uh, go over. Maybe I think he's uh, guarding the table. <laughs> he's guarding it with his life. Okay, guys. So there's no seating, and people are guarding the seats with their life, literally like just holding it and waiting for their friends and family to join. So we're in front of the actual place where we made this. I've got the uh, the pork just over here, and uh, let's eat this here. Good. Oh wow, that's spicy. <laughs> it was spicy. But it's really good. It like spicy. you got the uh, crispy pork. It's got it's really fatty, and then you got the flavors of the basil and the um, and like the kind of pad kapow flavors, but infused into the crispy pork. Mm, it's crazy because we stir fried it and mm -hmm. it's so crispy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, really succulent the pork meat as well, but really. Quite a big kick to it. All right, Carolina, let's switch places. I tried. I can see the chili. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's a bit of rice. I think it's the perfect spice level for you. Mm. And actually, you're not really a big fan of crispy pork. No, but actually, I didn't take the crispy part. Mm -hmm. I just took the meat, and it's actually quite spicy. Like it's it's a good level for me. But if you say little spice, definitely people will not handle it. And uh, the basil is very nice, like it's that kind of like the aftertaste. You cannot really taste it very much, right? The most important thing about this dish is that it adds so much more flavor than the, um, the pad, pad thai that we had. Like bursting with flavor yeah. and it was the same price. Exactly. And I feel like you're getting a lot more meat with this. Mm. So yeah, the other place, a bit of a dodgy start, but we're off to a better start now. So it looks like some sticky rice with mango. So you can get a uh, coconut ice cream, mango and sticky rice for 150. You can see she's got the coconut ice cream over there. Got a little mini coconuts here. 
and uh, she's got the sticky rice with the coconut combination. I think she's just added some. What, what is that, girl? Is it like coconut milk? It's like a coconut um, cream? kind of like a cream. Yeah. Cream. Yeah. These ones are nuts, I think. This looks really good. Yeah, she's adding peanuts. Wow. Okay, so. Uh, Tao Lai? Okay, so it's uh, 150. Okay, we're practicing uh, Thai. <laughs> Alright, so Bank of England's getting the money out. Is that exactly? Exactly, okay. Uh, Kabun Kap. Okay guys, we have got our coconut ice cream, mango and these beautiful different coloured sticky rice. I'm so, so excited. This is definitely up Katarina's uh, street. Is that, is that how you say it? Anyways. <laughs> yeah. let's, oh, you're uh, going for the purple one. I'm yeah. going to go for the pink one. So we got some sticky rice here. Let's just try the sticky rice first. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's sweet but also salty. Mm -hmm. Really delicious. Wow. And covered with the coconut sauce, it makes the perfect combination. There's no risk of spice with this one. Just nah. sweet, delicious goodness. Ice cream. Ice cream with the sticky rice. Mm. The coconut oh. ice cream are so good. Like pure coconut. Oh. This is my first sticky rice with mango combination that I've ever tried here in Thailand. So, so good. Really delicious. Mm. <laughs> to be honest. We were slightly over, uh, underwhelmed by the first two, two things we had. Second one was much better, but too spicy. This third time's a uh, charm. Yeah, it's heaven. It's, it's really good. It's really, really good. Let's try the mango. And actually, well. the, the ice cream is melting. It's super soft, creamy. Mm. Mm. Really delicious. And mango. It's so sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back in Europe, we don't have mangoes like this. And I like, how do I like, do I just bite it? Um, that's what I did. Mm. So good, right? Mangoes are supposed to be sweet, Carolina. Mm. I think my favorite combination is the um, the rice with the, with the coconut ice cream. Oh, definitely come, I can see them. In front of the Hua Seng Hong, you will see these guys. <laughs> no wonder there's a queue. Yeah, there's a queue forming here. They know good food. It might also help that we're recording, but anyways, mm. let's go explore more of Icon Siam. Okay guys, we have finished our mango sticky rice. You can actually take it over to these guys over here who handle the trash for you. You can literally just put it in. Cup on cup. So, just as easy like that. Unfortunately, people are struggling to get um, seating here in the mall for when they're ordering their food. Some places have like dedicated spots for their restaurant, which you can't go into, or food stall. I mean, the public one for everyone to use. It's hard to come by, so just have to stand up and eat it. Oh, well. Prawn crackers. <laughs> but it's so big. Okay, so over here in this direction, there's something called the veranda. No idea what it is, but it looks very um, interesting. I can see some water. It looks very uh, beautiful, and I can see. Yeah, you can see some kind of like. So you can see here, the veranda. Wow. <laughs> this is insane. Wow, wow, wow. So you got a little bakery over there. TWG Tea. I think this is a really good tea brand. You can see there's, I think, just tea over there. If you spin over to this one, you got Bankara. And over here, you've got this. Is it water? You can't touch it, but. It says, do it says don't touch it at this over there, but I bet you a lot of people try to touch it. Well, it's definitely water. I feel like this is because more of a luxurious site. This is the water there. You were saying? This is the most uh, like luxurious site. Like all of the foods here look very like um, high standard. So 
it is a very classy mall. There's so many water features just like this over here. And then you've got lots of luxury brands. This is for luggage, Rimo. So you've got very fancy luggage just there. This looks like a very upmarket shoe stall or shoe stop, shop. <laughs> of course, with any luxury mall, you also have a counter with the concierge. So it looks like they've got like a concierge, concierge service just over here. <laughs> So many people are interested in the camera, but you can see here for Christmas. Oh, that's all right, mate. Don't worry. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> so you got the Christmas tree. You got some fake snow. But uh, look, I think that's actually another entrance point. Or maybe you can actually go out here to... Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. The veranda is like the outdoor area where they've all the light show. So we may as well show it right now and then come mm -hmm. back in, right? Or should we go up? Okay, we're gonna save the outdoor space because you're essentially exiting. And now we're actually heading to what looks like a very luxurious part with lots of luxury brands you can see over here already. Dolce & Gabbana. Hey guys, so very upmarket luxury mall we have on our hands here. Wow, like for me, like it looks. <laughs> oh, you, you got, I gotta show oh, you guys. Look, work. look at this. Prada. That is a Prada shop. And then on the left side, you've got uh, Cartier. You got Yves Saint Laurent. <laughs> I won't be able to afford probably most of the stuff here, but it's interesting to walk around and see how empty the shops are. And actually, uh, yeah, there's not actually many people shopping inside. They're just kind of, it's like just window shopping with your eyes. Louis Vuitton, of course, wow. I like the um, kind of decorations they have on display. Yeah, I'm actually so happy that we are here over Christmas time because all of the shops are actually putting a show. Yeah, got Gucci and, you know, Dior. Like, we don't need to show you everything, but. Oh, I love the lighting in this mall. That's what it is. Like. Why it stands out? And I was just saying, uh, Carolina, that it's interesting how um, there is no one actually inside of the <laughs> inside of the stalls, Only or the, staff. the shops, or the store. How do you say it? Stores. Oh, shit, yes. In England, would say shops. American uh, English would say stores. Icon Siam, a world of gifts. You can see they're getting ready for Christmas. Lego there with a sleigh. It's a Santa. Yeah, there's a Lego Santa. But uh, everything's very well thought out and beautiful. Lots of so many things on offer here. This smells really nice in this section because it's all soap. <laughs> and then uh, you can see they've got a Coca-Cola Christmas tree. Must be the uh, sponsor. You think it's just coffee? I think it's just coffee, yeah. Look at the, look it's at the a strong smell. Look at the name of the business. It's uh, it's just a percentage. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how white and bright it is. Mm. You sure you don't want a coffee? It's it looks too super, late. It it's looks, 8 p.m. <laughs> it looks super interesting. Can we just have a look around? Wow. So you can see it's super white, like in an apple. This studio. is so minimalistic. <laughs> so very, <laughs> literally, is, yeah, that's what it is. It's minimalistic. There's literally just one dessert in there. And then you've got your different coffee cup sizes. My hand looks so brown compared to in, in here. Yeah. And um, the lighting's great for uh, filming because uh, in a mall, there's just so many different lighting situations, but you've got the, so that's the name of the, uh, the, the business, but I think that's their logo. logo. Oh, it looks like the name as well. It's called Percentage. And you've got these sacks from, most is Brazil and uh, you actually have some merchandise it's actually really well thought out like it feels like an apple an apple of coffee <laughs> that's how I feel being in here yeah that's so true especially with like all the white um, kind of white branding and, but um, you sure you don't want a coffee yeah. no sure. like even I'm tempted to have a coffee because the branding's just so good so you can see there's 
I don't know if it's like oh, I can you can move it like this. <laughs> or maybe it's oh you can actually move it. <laughs> it's so heavy. It's very heavy, yeah. Maybe you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> well it looks like a, like a uh, chemistry class. Yeah, like you've got like these all different kind of equipment. You've got in the center there the coffee making uh, machines. Even uh, <laughs> that's funny. The uh, the person working in there has a uh, MacBook. Mm -hmm, I saw it. So definitely uh, kind of incorporating Apple's design into percentage. <laughs> Oh, from the neighbor. Literally, look, you got Apple there, and you got percentage just over here. Yeah. Should we actually head up into there and check it out? So it'd be interesting to see like the difference in the the branding because it feels very similar. <laughs> I feel like there's a little bit of a copycat, but hopefully they're giving them a little bit of a commission, slice of the royalties. But this Apple shop looks. Absolutely beautiful, minimalistic. It's got the new iPhone 15. This is actually working. Oh, it's in Thai. Let's switch the language to English. There we go. This is the new iPhone 15, Carolina. 37 from 37,900 baht, which I think is. Like under a thousand, like maybe like over a thousand dollars, I think. Something. What is this? It's doing here. This is like a medicine ball. What is what is that for? Do you know? I thought that's like for the gym. So you got the AirPods. Cool Pro, yeah. Of new AirPods, and I got actually an email today from Apple that it's a new like type. <laughs> I can see Caroline is trying her hardest to get a a job from Apple from this video. <laughs> Okay, so you got this really big screen. You actually have some trees in here, which is interesting. But you can actually, they've combined it into seating, so you can actually sit down. Then, yeah, it's actually quite comfortable, it's not too bad. Sweaty cup. <laughs> so let's head on outside, because there's a little bit of a, a viewing platform out here. Wow. It's like a terrace. It's very nice. I bet you I'm very dark right now. Yep, pitch black. But uh, we can keep it this way up. So you've got the Apple Store just like that. Oh, wow, Carolina looks so beautiful, the Apple Store. Coach. Is that what it says, Coach? I think that's a fashion brand, maybe? One of the brands, yeah. One of the brands. And then if we swing around this way, I actually really like this water feature. I can hear like Star Wars music. You can see it here, guys. I can't see Am. You have these massive high rise. I think they're like either hotels or apartment complexes. And actually, this is I can't see Am outside. I love like the kind of fairy LEDs they have on the trees. <laughs> yeah. I bet you. This is the kind of thing that Carolina would love to have in like a bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to show you this beautiful Christmas tree celebrating Icon Siam's anniversary, the Icon Unrivaled. What is the tree? How is the tree made? It's just made out of uh, lots of LED lights, pretty much. And actually, if we come over here, maybe we can actually show you the I think these plants are going to get in. There's some plants just here in the way, but I think I can show you a very nice view. Wow, guys. Really beautiful at night here. The river. Let's head back on inside. After you. Let's go around here, Carolina. I've seen something really cool that I haven't uh, seen before in Apple shop. And it's the... We've got an arcade here, Caroline. That's so cool. We've got an arcade. We've got some of the different... I love it. It's like the apps. Different games here. You see how it's like shaped just like the on our phone. <laughs> That's so cool. And I think this is just like the gaming section. So you can get like... Looks like gaming controllers. 
is even PlayStation controllers. I think uh, mobile gaming is getting uh, very, very popular, especially in Asia. I think Asia probably has the biggest market for um, mobile gaming. Hey. People, uh, you know, notice you talking to the camera, it gets their attention. So I just say, hey, if they, uh, most of the time they'll just smile and say hello. And then uh, some, some others act a bit awkward, but uh, this is the view. There you got percentage, i.e. Apple's coffee, coffee brand. And this is the view all the way to top. So I think we need to go higher, guys. I think we've shown you floor one, which is the kind of food court, lots of food offerings. And, uh, and then we've shown you the uh, veranda. <laughs> I love how people just don't walk into they just, you. They just walk into you, or they don't even like kind of. We're always the type to kind of. I oh, got a nice, nice night store here, but uh, we're always the type of people to kind of move out of the way for people. We're just, I know, we're just polite, but some people they just walk straight and expect you to move out of the way. I love uh, new era. I've got a new era cap. So I love all the caps here. You, most of them are like Yankees, but uh, you can get uh, different ones here. Actually, all of them are pretty much Yankees. And we do get a lot of the LA Dodgers caps. But, um, that's why the cap. And uh, okay, so there isn't a whole lot of uh, different teams. Okay. There's some brand new cap. Oh, cap on cap. Cap on cap. <laughs> Sometimes I'm uh, well, still practicing at Thai, yeah. and uh, sometimes I switch Swadi Cap and Cap and Cap just because they're saying Cap on the end confuses me. I think we need to head up. So this is the kind of luxury store level, and I'm wondering what's going to be higher. We got some uh, Swadi Cap. I think they're like uh, I don't know. They look like fire firemen, but probably engineers of some sort. And uh, there's always very nice smells uh, in this mall because I think, uh, oh, it's lush. Yeah, it's lush. We just had lush just behind us. Well, let's head up and see what we can find. So we're now on level three. You can see shops like JD. <laughs> and actually, if we have a look here on the left, you've got Crocs, which I've heard of them, but they're like people just walk around with Crocs. <laughs> yeah, here in Asia, yes. Like in Europe, we use more. For like gardening and stuff. Okay, so, these, so are, these are crocs. I've seen people walk around with these. Actually, you can see they're actually, are they quite comfy? Do you, do you know? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love people's reaction to the camera. Okay, I feel like uh, we don't need to explore too much of the crocs. Yeah. Funny cap. So, you can see, you can actually maybe personalize them. So, you get Christmas ones just like this one. That's actually a really, really cool idea. So you can, even you've got Yoda, or I think that's actually uh, what's his name? Baby Yoda. Yeah, but there's there's a name, there's a name for him. You got some Pokemon. My sister would know. She's obsessed with the the little guy. And then you got uh, Vans. So as you can see, compared to level two, which is for the rich and the wealthy, and there wasn't many people in the shops. You can see a few more people. Inside of these shops, you got ones like Under Armour, so just normal people, regular people like us, where we would shop. But even them shops seem quite empty right now. But uh, is it, what day is it? Is it a Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday. Thursday yeah. Eight o'clock. So I did see when we were looking outside, I looked at the top of Icon Siam, and it looks like there's a viewing platform from the top. So. You can do a, uh, let's just see here first, if we can do electronic version. Okay, you're here. Oh, oh, no. Okay, okay, yes. You're here in Icon Siam. Is that it? <laughs> Is that it? Okay. <laughs> let's go for the old, old style. So we are on level three right now. And actually, it looks like there's a basement as well. Oh, is that ground? It's ground floor. So you've got ground floor where the dining and the food was, then you've kind of come up to level three. Okay, a little bit confusing, but let's just make our way up higher. 
It looks like there's a cinema on level six, a convention center and a fitness center. And I think the pinnacle is probably where the viewing platform is. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's uh, free or if you're gonna pay for it. Probably gonna have to pay for it, but let's find out. And I'm just wondering if there's like below level one where we had the food, if there's anything there. I don't know, I think that from the map like it, uh, it showed that there's some sort of basement. I love the Christmas decoration. See all the Christmas decoration. Yeah, I love it. Covered in uh, Christmas decoration, not like the uh, MBK Center. No. <laughs> there was literally one little sign out the front for Christmas. But I can smell food on this one. They're selling a little bit more food because you know shopping and food goes hand in hand. Like I'm not super hungry right now, but I could eat. <laughs> Maybe like a drink might be quite good to, to walk around with. So we are just going higher and higher. We've made it to level five. Level four, there wasn't really much going on. And actually, uh, a lot of people are... I just noticed here, more than anywhere, like a lot of people are paying attention to me vlogging. It feels very sad on like some of these floors. It feels very empty, like kind of not too much life happening in like these sections. Everything's beautiful and well presented. You can even get some little kitty shoes, just like this one's called Baby Bot. Let's see little, little kitty shoes. Charlene, do you want a pair? <laughs> they actually look very nice. <laughs> Hello, Sadi Cup. Very beautiful uh, little shoes for the, the children. And uh, you do have some ice cream. This is more like a kid section, Carolina. Yeah. So, yeah. Maybe why it's not super busy. Maybe <laughs> the kids are asleep. <laughs> Apart from the kid that was just back there. <laughs> but definitely uh, more of a playful feel to level five. You can see uh, in, the, in the way they've decorated the place. Even here, Kenny, you, know, you can see Icon Education. <laughs> There's even an educational part to this mall. What does this mall not have? So you got a train. Ah, I think. Uh, you can actually ride the train, so you can see the guy's gonna drive you. It's between. From 7 a.m. till 8 p.m. So we just missed it. Mm. But I think you... it's anyway for kids, Jay. No, oh, okay, maybe it's for kids, <laughs> but I'll still do it. <laughs> and you got a bit of a drink place here, like it's more like bubble tea. What is this? De Cassi? Looks like. Uh... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Sadi cup is uh, like bubble tea. Uh, bo uh, okay, but it's mochi. This is so per milk tea. Okay, per milk tea, and the mochi is <laughs> sorry cup. Uh, is the there's one with mochi? Okay, which one's the best one? Brown sugar pearl milk tea. I think we're gonna get one. I uh, should go for a medium or large. There's uh, it's 65 for the medium. I think we should go for the large. It's 75. Are you happy with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go for the brown sugar pearl milk tea large. Yes, and uh, yes. shadow it. Ah, uh, yes. Ice and maybe if it's already with brown sugar, maybe no sweet. Uh, no uh, sugar. Uh, uh, no sugar and uh, less, ice. less ice. Okay. okay. One. Just one, yes. 75. 75. Got the Bank of England ready <laughs> with a, maybe with a card? Yeah. We, can we pay by card? Is it okay? Cash. Um, ah, we don't have this. Maybe uh, there's no card then. We pay by cash. Okay. Okay. Right, ah, cup on cap. So you can see here, it's, this is the brand. Any opportunity to have bubble tea? We've been missing it since tai, Taiwan. Okay. Uh, cup on cup. Cup on cup. Attention, please, attention. Mr. Damian. She's making it over here. Hello. She's got the, I think maybe some please sugar here. This one's on the. Uh... Attention, please, <laughs> Hello. Mr. Damian. This one's. And Mrs. Shani. <laughs> There's someone on, if someone's being called on the uh, loudspeaker. Thank <laughs> you. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was, uh, you know calling us for a second. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of your computer? YouTube? Have you got a phone I can type for you? Oh. Yeah? There we go. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, we're making a vlog about Icon Siam, yeah. And you're gonna be in it. <laughs> okay. So it's my name. So it's better to type out just Chaya. There you go. Your phone is very big. <laughs> okay. We have a new subscriber. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm from uh, England. I'm from Poland. Poland, yes. And you're from Bangkok. Yeah. You're from Bangkok. Oh, from Bangkok. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is your your business. Yeah, you're 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 the, you're the boss. Yes. <laughs> okay. Cup on cup. Uh, I don't think we need a plastic bag. It's okay. So we have our beautiful. Wow, look at that. There's brown so sugars good. kind of dripping down there. You can see the pearls at the bottom. And uh, do we shake? I think we have to shake. Yeah. Yeah. You got to shake. You got to shake. All right. Do you mind holding that? Oh, you can do this. Okay, I'll do the shaking. <laughs> I'll do. I like doing the shaking. There we go. So much fun. <laughs> it's fun doing the shaking. All right. Do you wanna? Give it a stab. Like... All right. All right. The best way to do it is you just. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, cup on cup. All right. So. One, two, three. There we go. All right. Ladies first. Let's try it. I can't wait. I love bubble tea. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it really sweet? It's not. Because we ask for zero sugar, mm -hmm. it's actually mm -hmm. a really good pairs, and the when, brown sugar is very detectable. When you have a brown sugar one, you don't need any sugar. Perfect. Good choice on that one, yeah, it's really good. Very creamy. Mm. <laughs> Aroy. Aroy, okay. Alright, bye. Super nice, like, some of the... Some of the stalls here, I feel like uh, on the lower grounds are run by like maybe very wealthy, you know, corporate companies, but this one was uh, more of a local feel to it. So, so it also seems like on this, these floors, not so many tourists are actually coming here. A lot of uh, them are just staying on the floor with the food and go to check out the, the, the view. tourist part. Yeah, yeah the maybe view. people are just coming here for the food and for the views, which yeah. is understandable, but it's nice actually to explore malls. Like, if I was a kid, I'd be in heaven right now <laughs> on this floor. And uh, I feel like um, we can. Oh, what's this place here? This looks interesting. Yeah, it's like a bear. So you can see it's definitely. <laughs> bear only. Bear only. <laughs> Hello. So it's like. Um, like a. Kind of sweet your eye drinks. Oh, okay. You've got drinks just over here. Okay, so. I feel like I enjoyed the kids more more than a few of the other the, the kids sorry floor more than the other um, floors, which is ironic because I feel like our playful childlike nature comes out <laughs> when we're doing kind of kiddie things. Okay, guys, we have made it to the sixth floor. This looks like a very fancy restaurant floor. You have uh, some fries here with different kind of sauces. Got a sushi bar. I think there's a lot of Japanese influence to this floor. You can see the kind of interior design is. <laughs> it's out of this world. This is insane. Yeah, this is a mochi ice cream place. A premium mochi ice cream. It's uh, just here on the left. Got even some Indian masala art. This is a very premium. Oh, you want to have the uh, bubble tea? I wanted actually to have a GoPro and say something. Oh, okay, yes, <laughs> go for it. So actually, when you change the floors, it's like a completely different world you can see here in the background. It's a completely different vibe, different lighting, and you just feel like in another place, right? It, it's like uh, each floor is a new world. That's what I love about it. Yeah. And you've got, this looks maybe some kind of I don't know, Mexican inspired or just random. It's just made out of like pipes. But uh, wow, we've got very premium. I thought this is a perfume, but like it's ice cream. It's ice cream, yeah. Oh wow, yeah, it's ice cream. Look at the flower. Okay, that's super interesting. Actually, I think we need to go around and have a look at this. It's very nice. <laughs> So you do have a lot of photo booths. So if you're wanting to have some kind of photo booth 
pictures but uh, I love actually we need to be heading that way Carolina let's head back this way I, this Jenny's ice cream place looks very nice but we've got our bubble tea still you got a boulangerie very fancy but I think this is actually what I want to show you guys you can see they've got like some kind of it's like a cocoon, a bamboo cocoon, and you have restaurants inside of them. So this one's a ginger farm. This is definitely where you come if you are wanting to spend your money on probably more premium quality food. I think floor one, <laughs> even though I felt it was a little bit pricey, was like the budget level, <laughs> like street food style. And here you've got like the premium experience, like this is a ramen place. I think all these like little islands, let's say. Different yeah. sculptures. Got like a, another water feature, more cocoons with restaurants inside. The time is around 8.30 yeah. and so we got till 10 and we still have a few floors to discover. Plus outside, I think there's a lot of uh, great um, kind of lighting and it's just lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh my God. But this is insane. You this is beautiful. Yeah, like look, it's like a shopping mall. you don't feel like you're in a shopping mall. That's right. Like it's all all these beautiful water features. Wow, it's amazing. Maybe. Yeah, you're yeah, actually sitting in these little. Uh, we can actually probably walk across. Let's walk across. Ah, uh, this is like a restaurant. I don't want to walk in there thinking that we. But you've got these kind of. Uh, you've got the water here. You've got a kind of bridge. You've got people set up in these kind of booths <laughs> wow very beautiful maybe one day Carolina when we are rich and famous looks nice but um yeah we're more uh, street food side of the road what was our pad kapao it was like maybe 40 50 baht for a beautiful pad kapao on the side of the street yeah. and then you've got actually oh that's a cinema wow <laughs> Wow, wow, like wow. 3D. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got a horse here. This mall is just blowing my mind. It's I probably want to this is definitely the most interesting mall I've ever been to in my yeah, life. 100%. The most interesting. <laughs> like hands down, this is just crazy. And it's Christmas time, so it's so much decorations. You've got um it looks like an experience, Monet and Friends. It looks like an immersive, it's this immersive adventure into French impressionism. This is uh, definitely deserves the most luxurious mall in Bangkok title. So this is the cinema. You can get your tickets over here. So if you want to watch a movie in Icon Siam, you can do. I wonder how much the... Should we have a look at what the cost of the tickets are? Uh, I wonder if we can change it to English. Ah, I don't, have we got it in English already? So if we want to watch a movie, let's go to Disney Wish. Uh, we're looking at, let's say, 9.30. Let's pick a... Okay, so for two seats, it costs... It actually automatically two seats. Oh, uh, yeah. 800 baht, which is about... Maybe 20... Around 25 US dollars. So the entrance to the mall is just over here. So you've got the cinema entrance here. And actually, I can see uh, security guards with like a bulletproof vest on inside. Wow. That's so weird. Inside a cinema. <laughs> Who's going to come in into the cinema? Scary. Yeah, a little bit uh, intimidating, but uh, I can show you the security guards just here. Just over there. And then uh, I think this is the entrance to the cinema. And this is from Predator. I think it's Predator versus Alien. Scary guy. Okay, wow. My mind is blown away. <laughs> then you've got candy. So if you want candy, you can come over here. Yes, I feel like you could spend an entire day in here. We're on floor seven. This is uh, a convention center and also a fitness. I think you can actually go maybe... I <laughs> I don't know where to go, like, it's actually, there's not much happening, it's just empty space. Okay, let's head on over to here, there's a beautiful Starbucks. 
and then you can see actually above 4.6 we are and actually you can see these kind of pods where the water is that's what I really liked about this floor was just this area here where you can sit and be next to the water felt like I was in Venice and like I said I've never been in Venice before but it looks like there's um, something happening here a fan meeting for someone these people are waiting here and you can actually buy tickets to to Carolina there's a fan meeting here and then people are paying tickets to sit here and mm. uh, wait for their fans I think there's like some actors or something and then I think this is up to 4.8 which I think is gonna be very interesting but I want to show you this Starbucks because this is probably one of the most beautiful Starbucks I've ever seen in my life no exaggeration so you got a Christmas wrapped Starbucks coffee cup and then you have this beautiful decoration here and you can actually get some Starbucks merchandise County is definitely gonna be looking at that section I, I guarantee it oh maybe not I thought you were gonna go to the merchandise <laughs> For the Christmas tunes blasting and that's the uh, kind of decorations on the roof which look really interesting so much like uh, Starbucks coffee merchandise but, so this looks like a coffee bar where you can sit down we searched the world for the rarest small lot coffees and art artfully roast them at our Starbucks reserve roasteries so this is like a premium Starbucks. People are here looking, looks like they're doing some work. And actually, this part's closed, but uh, you can actually walk up these stairs. So beautiful, and you can actually sit at the top. Very, very nice. It's just so pleasant to uh, just spend time here and walk around. So I think maybe during the day, you can go to the top there you probably got very nice views of this whole entire area but uh, yeah just nice to stroll around here definitely come and you can spend like I said an entire day I feel like we've we're kind of rushing for time because uh, we've got so much to show you Napoli Terrace which okay so apologies for the wind I've got the wind slayer on <laughs> it's very windy okay this is actually the viewing platform Carolina wow okay you got these LED Christmas lights again. This is interesting. It's like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like digital lighting. <laughs> oh, wait, if you. It's in, it's in line with the music, Carolina. Yeah, they're changing colors. Depending on how loud. Is it me? Hello? Hello? No, it's the music. It's in time with the music. Let's actually head over this way, Carolina. Guys, this is why you should come to Icon Siam. I can't wait to show you this. And I haven't even seen it yet. I'm gonna try and find the area where there's no one. And look at the view guys, wow. All this up. You got the river there. You can see uh, we showed you that Christmas tree just over here earlier on and now we've come up higher you got the boats just here crossing the river and literally like a city sky so nice very beautiful so we just got a <laughs> random random guy's face but something more recognizable is the coca-cola Santa it's like a bauble, very beautiful, with some uh, some coke. Wow, they got a little fireplace going on here, serving coke for uh, for Christmas. The branding from the branding from Coke is well, Coca Cola is just always on point. They have a lot of money to spend on stuff like this, and then actually, I, yeah, I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> All right, guys, we're inside. Let me show him. <laughs> this is 
the steering wheel it's coming off. <laughs> That is a, a pretty cool touch and I think on the right hand side you've got different things. Oh, you can see there's an igloo with a fake snow. Okay, we're heading back. On this side you got another Coca-Cola thing, but anyways, there's so much just random things happening uh, in this mall that to keep you entertained. And you have some nice outdoor seating with a beautiful light. And you have this nice little uh, lit up structure. People are taking photos. And actually it leads you onto the, uh, the kind of like river. So you are here, Icon Siam. You got Gucci. I love how they are right in the front of the window. They have the money to spend on that. And then you've got, again, it's the anniversary. It looks like fifth anniversary. People are taking in some fashion shoots. <laughs> I got into it. <laughs> I got into the old lady's photo and I saw it because she took a selfie. But uh, you've got the, this is the, Outside of here, you got Louis Vuitton, you got Gucci on that side, Cartier. Check this out, guys. This is the view of Icon Siam at nighttime. You definitely want to come at nighttime. We'll swing you around. Hopefully, we don't get a copyright strike or claim. But on this Charles Prior Princess boat, you can see they're having a party. All right, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe. We have more videos coming from Bangkok. Yes, we are walking backwards right now. We'll see you guys in the next video.